Hey guys, welcome back to my colorful country life. Now, I was not going to do a coloring plans video for the month of July, but I have been sitting here flipping through my books, looking at the different pages I might like to color this month. So I thought, why not share those thoughts with you all? And if you want, you can let me know which ones you might like to see as color alongs on the channel. So I've actually pulled out way more books than what I could possibly color in any given month. I actually couldn't fit them all on the screen. So I've got a little pile just off the screen here as well. So um, I'll see which ones you'd like to see the most and any others. If I have time, I might color for myself without filming it. But we'll go through and we'll have a look together. Now, I do normally get through around 10 pages a month. So I think that's about half of what I'm about to show you today. Um, a lot of the books are Christmas specific. As I am thinking of doing some Christmas in July pages this month. Now... I think I've pulled out 10 books that have Christmas themed pages, but I likely only get to do one or two of them. So whichever one is most requested is what I'll try to focus on. Actually, I'll show you all the pages that I'm looking at today and whichever ones um, you want to see as a color along. If you let me know down below and I'll go through and I'll count them up and whichever ones are most requested are the ones I will focus on, whether they're Christmas related or not. So I think we'll look at it that way. Now I am currently working on a page in Fairies in Dreamland by Denise Klett. Um, that is not going to be a color along. I've been coloring that page on my own as I'm waiting for things to upload because my internet is killing my life right now. It is so slow. Now, Denise has another, she's got a new book coming out. What is that one called again? I forgot the name of it. Oh, there's so many new releases coming out. I forget what I've pre-ordered and what I have. I have to go double check and see if I've pre-ordered the new book from Denise Clare. I know we've got Joanna Basford coming, uh, Kirby, obviously, Mel Pimeni, uh, Hannah Carlson's Christmas book, the Emily Oberg reprint, the Fairy Tales and Folklore. Um, what else am I thinking of? Denise's is coming out. Is that it? I'm going to have to go check and see what I've pre-ordered. I need to write a list somewhere, keep a list of what I'm doing. Um, so let's move this all out of the way and get started. All right, let's start with Rita Berman's Land Book and I'll just zoom you in. All right, so I was hoping to finish this page last month, but I didn't get to it. And I have just started filming it now. Um, I haven't yet put colour to paper, um, but I have just started discussing how I colour my bokeh backgrounds and how I achieved this effect here. So that'll be at the beginning of the video because we are going to colour the background first. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to be starting on after this video, I think. So I am going to be using the same colour palette that I used on the other half of the page, although I didn't write the combos down. Um, but I think I can figure it out as I go. I do know what I used for the background um, and the flower. So the rest I can figure it out. I might even use the front cover as inspiration again. Have a look. Yeah, so we still have the pinks, the purples and the oranges, don't we? So I can use some of that as inspiration for this page, I think. So I've got a feeling this is going to take a little while to color this one might take me about a week i think um but it's going to be nice to have this double page spread completed there is actually a page in this book that i'm not happy with um that i'm thinking of going back and fixing it up like changing it completely basically so this page here i colored this years ago if you can't tell i actually use it as a test page for my luminance pencils i tested them out straight in the book for some reason um the background is super blotchy and i can't even remember if that was an attempt with soft pastels or maybe just dress ink clearly i didn't have a clue what i was doing um but i really want to go back in because i have colored this page i really love how this looks I want this page to be just as beautiful. So um, I want to go back in and rework the entire page. Now, if you are interested in watching that process um, with me transforming this page, let me know. I don't know if I'll get to it this month, but I have been thinking about it for a while since I started coloring this page here. So um, that is a option for the future, um, but I definitely want to revisit that 
And that was Luminance Pencils. I don't know if I'll redo it with Luminance Pencils. We'll see. I'm not quite sure what I'll do with the background yet, but it needs to be completely redone, I think. Um, so that is the page we're going to be working on first up this month. Now, next up, I only have one buddy colour this month, and that is in Small Victories by Joanna Basford. And that is this moth page. Uh, moth page? Is it moths or butterflies? I think it's moths, isn't it? Looking at the shape of those wings, I could be wrong. Um, I haven't worked out a colour palette yet for this page, as I think whatever I use on this page, I will maybe bring through onto this page. There is a lot of toe sore, so it is giving me more of an autumnal feel, but um, I'm not quite sure yet what colours I'm going to be using. So, yeah, I'll colour that page as a buddy colour, and then I might bring those colours through and do this page too. Yeah, so that is Small Victories by Joanna Basford. Now let's have a look at Rooms of Wonder. Do I need to zoom you out? No, I think that fits. Okay, so I think we've got quite a lot done. Now, actually, there is something I've had my eye on in this book. Let me just have a quick flick through. You guys are going to think I'm absolutely nuts when I show you what I'm thinking of colouring. So I may end up doing something a little bit more simple like this, but see, this is a simple image, but I feel like I need to add something into the background. I am practicing with watercolors at the moment, and I have my eye on a course I want to do to learn how to paint landscapes with uh, gouache. So I'm thinking I might want to add something to this background, so I'm leaving that for a while. And I mean, if I color it, um, you can just color the pineapple without adding in the background if you wanted to, but I am leaving that because I do want to add background but then again if I add a background here there's no background here is that going to look funny if there's a background on one page and not on the other maybe I just need a colour of pineapple I don't know that's a thought for another day this one I've been looking at too I think I think I might be ready to colour one of those big pages um where was it In here somewhere. I'm not a big fan of colouring food. This this is it. Oh look, I marked it. I've been flicking through the whole book and I have actually had it marked. So yeah, you're gonna think I'm nuts after doing that big wallpaper double page spread that took me two weeks to do. I am really called to this double page. I don't know if I want to do it this month. It might be something for another month as it may take a long time. And I'm not into repetitive patterns at the moment after doing that last page last month. Um, but what I was thinking for the background, something quicker and easier, maybe the King Art Gel Sticks or um, Distress Inks or a Soft Pastel for the background. For these outlines, I'm thinking of doing it in gold. And for the flowers and the leaves themselves, I was either thinking of... Oh, see, originally I was thinking of doing them gold as well, but that's going to bore me. I'm going to find that really boring. So maybe I can do sort of like peachy colours again. Something similar to peaches or pinks. Like we have some pages. Where are they? They're here somewhere. I think they're closer to the front. Ah, these ones. Something that would match with these type of pages. Even if I do like a like a purpley colour instead, like a similar colour leaf and then maybe like purpley colour flowers. Purples and blues. Like a teal blue. Now I've lost the page. I, I marked it. Karen, you marked it. Get with it. Um, yeah, so gold outlines. And then these are quite small too. I'm thinking maybe if we use either Albrecht Durer's to base it with and go over with polychromos or we do an intense base and then go over with maybe Prismacolors. Let me know. Let me know what you would prefer. And if you are if you are interested in doing that page, if I was to do this page, I would probably do um the background on one side and one little section on camera and then colour the rest off camera because I can 
colour all the things in between probably. Um, but otherwise, yeah, that gemstone page interested me. What else? We've got a lot coloured in the front of this book. Um, yeah. Do I feel like doing bookshelves? I don't know. I don't feel like colouring food. I'm not a big fan of colouring food. What else is at the front here? Um, I think I'd rather colour the gems at the moment than the sewing page. Uh, that's a possibility. This one I keep eyeing off, but I think after that double page from last month, I'm a little bit put off from doing this at the moment. I think I will be basing this with my Albert Durer's and maybe using some... Um, uh, maybe Tombow markers to base. I will be basing with some sort of water medium and then adding in a little bit of shadow because the areas are so teeny tiny. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to use that much pencil work. So that is my thoughts and plans for that double page. But I think I will leave that for another month when I'm not a little bit burnt out by the double pages in this book. So that is one that I'm thinking of. This one is always, I'm always drawn to this one. I just feel like I need to add a background and I don't know what to add as the background yet. I can't think of what I want it to look like completed background wise. I can, I can picture the actual image completed, just not the background. And I feel like I need to do a background. I know I don't have to, but I feel like I need to. Um, but yeah, this page is an option too. Yeah, so probably either that page or <laughs> that page. I know, I've lost my mind. Okay, so that was Rooms of Wonder, our full book colour along. So let's have a look at... The Frog's Tail by RJ Hampson. Now this one has been on the list for quite a few months. I think it's been going since about March. I do, I will get to it eventually. It's probably going to be closer to the end of this month now because um, last time I had to put it off because school holidays were starting and school holidays are starting again. That's how long it's been. So um, later in the end of the month, I can get to this page. I just need time to be able to talk when there's no one else around um, where I can explain the basing of the alcohol markers and the shading on top and all that sort of stuff. So it will get done um, and providing um, nothing crazy happens in the month of July, I should be able to fit this in for the end of the month. And that is Promenade from RJ Hampson's A Frog's Tale. Um, next, let's look at Alien Worlds. Um, so this was a highly requested book and surprisingly I did not colour any Kirby in the month of June and I think it's actually the first month in the four or so years that I've had this channel that I haven't coloured at least one Kirby page but I mean I did colour what like five of them the month before so that kind of makes up for it but this page here is a definite colour for this month I'm probably going to colour this one next I think um I am having Kirby withdrawals it's been way too long a whole month <laughs> since I coloured anything Kirby and this page here is really calling out to me so this is going to be our next page. I can already picture it in my mind completed and I can't wait to get to it. And look at all this beautiful ocean for me to colour. You know how much I love colouring water. So I'm really excited to colour this one and I want to make him nice and glowy. So that's going to be a fun one to colour. And I think we'll do that after we finish the Rita Bourbon page. So that is Alien Worlds by Kirby Rosans. Oh, I need more room on my desk. All right. Back to the topic of things I've been saying I was going to do for a while and haven't done. Secret Garden. So this is the 10th anniversary edition. And I have been saying for months now that I was going to do this pullout. But it is a big double page. It's going to take a long time. So I thought the Romantic Country page that I did in June wasn't going to be as big as it was. Like I, it took um, four separate parts. And I didn't realise it would take that long. So I'm thinking this one's going to take just as much if not more 
Um, and that took me 12 days to do. So this is going to take me a couple of weeks um, at the very least. I still haven't thought of color schemes yet. So I really need to think of that before I get started. Um, but I definitely will be doing this page at some point. Um, I just need to really sit down and focus and have a think about what colors I want to use um, and what color schemes. I am thinking of beautiful, bright, vibrant, rich colors like bright reds, bright blues, bright oranges. But I'm not quite sure and I'm not quite sure if I do it that way, I'll probably use my Prisma colors. But then I was thinking of like more muted colors with my polychromos, but um, I'm leaning more towards the bright colors. But I'll have to have a sit down and have a think and try and figure out what I want it to look like. Um, daytime, nighttime, how I want to do the border, all that sort of jazz. So that one... I'll have to sit down when I've got more time and have a think about. So that was Secret Garden Joanna Bassford. We will get there one day. Same as the RJ Hampson. Hopefully, the RJ Hampson, well, the RJ Hampson should be done this month. Hopefully, we can start Secret Gardens too. So, next I want to have a look at Circle of Life by Milpa Many Chats of Panagot Tool. Now, I've gone a little bit crazy with double page spreads lately, but... This one has been calling my name as well. Some pages are just jumping out to me and I have picked a lot of big pages. Um, so I know I'm not going to be able to get them all done, but they are just, as soon as I see them, I'm like, yes, I want to color them. And this one as well, which surprised me because I never really had an interest in coloring this double page before, but when I'm looking at it, I can see how I want it colored. Now, I think for this, I definitely base the elements either with water-based markers or some other water mediums. But I think it's going to look really pretty finished. When I first looked at this page, I was like, oh, it's like mountains, water, and a sky. A little bit boring, um, lots of trees. But now that I'm looking at it again with fresh eyes, I'm like, no, this page I can see coloured. I think it would be fun lot using lots of different mediums. I think when I first looked at it, I was thinking of pencils um but lots of different mediums on this page i think it'll look really pretty completed i can see some oranges some sort of like purples and blues for some snowy mountains and stuff a lot of greenery with the trees too we've got a bear we've got some warmth and light source here with our fireplace so and i think with basing it it might oh, i was gonna say it might not take as long I don't think it will, you know. I don't think it's going to take me like a two... It's not going to be a two-week double page spread like others that um, we've been doing recently. Yeah, so this has been calling my name. I'd really like to get this one done. Um, I haven't coloured in Circle of Life for ages, but everything I have coloured in this book so far um, is up on the channel as a colour along. Jeez, I've coloured more than that. I'm sure I've coloured a lot more. I really want to do one day this double page spread. When I look at it, I'm like, oh, no, that's too busy. That's going to take forever. But every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, I really want to colour that. I could actually colour, I think, pretty much every page in this book. There was a point in time when I did ask if people wanted this as a full book colour along. This was ages ago. I think it was before we went for the Joanna Bassford um, full book colour along. Hang on, this I'm sure I'm missing pages. Oh, there's that one there. Um, what was I saying? Yes, so I did say, I did do a poll and this was on there for the next full book colour along. This was ages ago now. It would have been about two years back. Um, but it, yeah, it was not highly requested. Although I do think I could colour every page in this book easily. What's that? Four completed pages. Okay, so yeah, like I said, every page is up on the channel as a colour. I really love this page, actually. Okay, so Circle of Life by Milpameni Chats Panagotu. And next, let's have a look at The Flower Year by Layla Dooley. Now, um, so with the rest of the books I'm going to show you today, I don't think I've really chosen any particular pages. I thought we could just flip through and have a look at them together, including this one. Um, so we're up to, I think, seven pages, if I can count correctly. I've got mountains of books everywhere at the moment. Um, so I think I've counted seven pages so far. If I manage to fit all of the ones in that I've shown you, 
up to now, uh, which would leave room for maybe one in this book and then maybe two Christmas pages. But let's keep looking and you guys can let me know which pages you're most interested in. If you'd rather the Christmas pages and less of the ones I've already shown you, um, just let me know down below and the rest I can either push through to July or July, August. I don't even know what month I'm in anymore. <laughs> I'll push through to August or I can colour on my own if I get time. I swear I'm losing my short-term memory at the moment. Um, so back to the flower year. Um, this has been a highly requested book and I actually haven't coloured much in this book at all. Have I coloured in this book? I've coloured one. I think I've coloured one page. Is that it? No, I must have marked that page. Yeah, I think that's basically all I've done in this book. So it would be nice to get something else done. And this was highly requested, but um, I don't know which page to colour. So I know we've got all the different months here, but my months, my seasons are different to most of your seasons. So, you know, I'm colouring winter stuff at the moment, but this book is showing summer stuff for June and July. So... It doesn't, I'm not going to colour it in any particular order. If you want me to colour July, let me know. I'm happy to colour July. I actually like that um, page, and that is July. I have marked that off. So, um, but I just flip through it quickly. I'm not one of those people that need to colour like July and July, August and August. I will colour whatever I feel like whenever I feel like. Um, I don't do seasonal colouring or anything like that. So, any page that you're interested in. I say I don't do seasonal colouring, but I'm like, oh, I want to colour Christmas in July. Anyway, back to what I'm talking about. Let me know if there's any particular page that you'd like to see me colour in this book. It was a highly requested book, so... I'd love to know which ones you had in mind. I have used Prisma colours in this book before. I wonder what other medium. I'm just feeling the paper. Um, I like the fox glove too. We're going backwards. This looks like a fun double page. I think I probably prefer a single page. Just with all the other crazy things I've chosen so far this month. That one looks pretty simple. Periwinkle. That actually would be pretty quick and simple to colour. Some of these are detailed. Look at that. Made some crazy details. I really do need to colour some more pages in here. This one looks fun. Um, that would be fun actually too. Probably not for this month. Looks a little bit crazy for this month but it does look like fun um for those of you who did want a page in the flower year let me know down below if there's a particular page you had in mind otherwise i'll have a look and see if i can find one that is calling out to me um yeah so that is the flower year by layla dooley Okay, so I think everything from now on is Christmas related pages. Now, um, I actually did find one in Hannah Carlson's Seasons that I have chosen. So that was chosen as an option, I should say. It's not a definite, but it's an option. Um, the reindeer page here with all these crystals and the lanterns, I think this would be really pretty. A lot of fun to colour with the snow-capped trees. 
um, some snow on the ground, these beautiful crystals, and then have this nice warm glow maybe from these lanterns. I think that'd be a really fun Christmassy page to colour. Um, yeah, so let me know. That's page one out of the Christmas options. That's Hannah Carson's Seasons. Now the others, I haven't really chosen here let's look at the romantic countries okay so first off um i'll look at the third tail first i think and no i have colored i've colored this page here which is a christmasy page now a lot of people ask me if there's a color along for this one that isn't this was done prior to me having my channel i think um and this is all polychromos um but is that where it starts christmasy stuff yeah so we have a few Christmassy options. I think. Is this the only Christmassy option in this book, I think? So that's a Christmas market, I believe. Let me just have a look in the back because they do list everything in the back. So that's, yeah, that's page 14 and 15 Christmas market. I've coloured before Christmas. And I think we do have an ice rink, which is not really Christmassy, but it's wintry. Um, just having a quick look here, and I think that's a spring festival. Yeah, so that is the only option we have Christmassy, really. That's the Christmas market. I don't know if I feel about this one, though. Yeah. I mean, it's a possibility. It's not really calling out to me this page, but it's a possibility. It's a big double page here. This is going to take a couple of weeks for that one. Let's have a look at the other ones. So, Romantic Country, the first tale here. Um, now, I know this one is a bit hard to find. I think it's out of print. And I have coloured something Christmassy, I think, in here. Ah, that's the one. Yeah, I've coloured that page there. That's an actually quite an old colour in that one. Uh, that's Prismacolor pencils. That's all Prismacolor pencils. But I think, I think there's another. Oh, look, there was a Christmassy page just there. There's a Christmas tree. That's a possibility. I thought the other, I thought I did that page. I'm sure I did one of them. Maybe it's in the other book. I haven't coloured in these books anywhere near enough. I love that page. I think Chris Cheng did, did a colour along for that page, actually. Um, I'm sure there is another one. Maybe it's in the second tale, the one I'm thinking of, with the giant nutcrackers. Okay, and I thought I coloured more than one page in this book. Which one did I colour the Halloween page in? Let me just have a quick look here. We've got the Christmas present page, that's the one I've done. The Christmas tree, that's the one we looked at, so that's one of the options. There's actually some really good pages in this book. I'll have to double check and see. I'm pretty sure it's out of print, but I'll have to double check. Um, Halloween, Easter. That's all clock tower stuff. Castles, no. So just that Christmas tree page is the only one. Um, I can't have a Halloween page. Now I'm having... I'm sure that was in one of these books. Ah, there we go. That's the one I coloured. Okay, now, but I think, so I'm missing the big nutcrackers. Let me have a look in Romantic Country Tour. It's going to be in that one, I'm sure. Ah, okay. Let's have a look. Okay. Oops. I think it's near the front, but I'm just having a look to see.
see. Um, I love that page. I might do that one for Halloween this year, maybe. I love that page too. I love this book. This is my favourite eerie book. I only have her Romantic Country series, but that's my favourite. That's a really good Halloween one too. She does Halloween really pretty. I like this one for Easter as well. And this sort of like Marrakesh market type looking thing. This is pretty too, the town. So many, so many awesome pages in this book. Oh, what did I miss? Uh, 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 uh. It's got to be in this book. I'm sure it's at the front. Um, another treehouse. That will be fun to colour. Oh, I like that one too. A little cottage. Um... Ah, here we go. Christmas, our little big nutcrackers. I think this one would be fun to colour as well. So what have we got? We've got, is there any more? I think it's the only one left, isn't it? Okay, so the Christmas options from the Romantic Country books are this double page from Romantic Country 2. There was the Christmas tree. Where was the Christmas tree? From Romantic Country 1. Oh, look. Where was it? Ah, that page there. So we've got the double nutcracker, the Christmas tree, and then in the third tale was the Christmas market. That was near the front somewhere, wasn't it? Um... Yeah, there. So they're the three options from Romantic Country. This is probably my least favourite out of the choices. It's only my least favourite because it's so detailed and it'll take me ages to colour. I actually, I actually really like the page, but I'm just like, oh, this is going to take forever. So I think that one is going to be ruled out. That's the third tale. So the first tale, I really like this page, but I don't know how many people actually have this book or not. Um... But yeah, that one is a possibility. This page I really like as well. Probably take forever. So I don't know if you want this as a Christmas in July or if you want this as a Christmas at Christmas. But there are options from Romantic Country. Um, what else have I got? So let's have a look at Clara Markova books. So I have Fairy Celebrations, Fairy Touch and Magic and... Oh, books falling everywhere little secrets from my fairy house now this one here i think this one was my least favorite i only colored one page in this book i do believe they all have some sort of christmasy pages in them though so that's the one page i colored i colored that with castle art pencils do not use castle arts in this book they're terrible pencils on this paper um so these are all christmasy i think yeah, so we've got the candy cane, gingerbread, yep, so we're at Christmas themed pages. Um, is that still Christmassy? That's a big double page spread right there. Is it a double page spread? Oh, yep, yeah, it is. The tree goes over both sides. Oh, did I miss a page? That's Christmassy too. I've got the Christmas tree cake thing happening. It's got a Christmas tree on top and I think a shortbread door on the cake and the little shortbread reindeer and stuff. That's cute. Little gingerbread house. That one I like. That one is probably the most likeable so far. Um, this page too, I quite like this one. Is that still Christmas related? Yeah, it's got little antlers on and a present. So that's still Christmassy. No, no, I think that's it. I think that's the extent. So I think out of this one, what book am I in? 
little secrets for my fairy house. Um, that page or that page would be my two options. So let's have a look at fairy celebrations. This is actually my favorite of Clara Markova books. I think this is the one I've done the most pages in as well. So there we go. This one looks fun. That's an option. This I think would look gorgeous colored. It is a big page like detail wise um but i think i look beautiful colored same with these pages especially this one i actually really love this page there's a lot happening what are all these little things on the ground what are they oh no mm -hmm. i'm not gonna say what i thought was happening on that page okay um, a lot of gingerbread happening, but it's a possibility. Another possibility. I feel like I've coloured something similar to that, actually. No, no. Oops. I skipped one. No. Uh, um, Probably not. I do like the page, but I think it's a little bit busy. That's Halloween stuff. I love that page for Halloween. Um, I do like these two pages. Um, I think that one is probably... I think that one is probably my favourite Christmassy page in this book. I love that it's like a little paint set and they're painting on the like Christmas cookies here. You can do lots of nice colourful paints. Yeah. These are beautiful Christmas pages, but they are rather detailed. So I might leave some of the more detailed ones to possibly Christmas time. Although Hannah Carlson's Christmas book will be here. So I'll probably be colouring in that one now. Um, you may notice there is a Christmas book missing. I haven't pulled out Joanna's Christmas just because I had a quick look through and I wasn't feeling it. And I have coloured quite a lot in that book. So I thought I'd share the love around with books that I might not have coloured in so much instead. Um, okay, so is this our Christmas section? This is painting. What is this painting? I don't think this is Christmas. It doesn't look Christmassy. Neither does that. Does this have a Christmas section? That's Christmas, isn't it? Is that Christmas? We've got a little gingerbread man and a candy cane. But that doesn't look Christmassy, does it? The more you look at this page, these pages, the more things you find. Um, that one's Christmassy. Oops. No. No. Uh, that's a maybe. I don't mind that page. Wait, we've got... Are they gingerbread houses and we've got a witch on a broomstick? Is that Halloween meets Christmas? Oh, and that one, yeah, she's got a, got a Christmas stocking. Christmas presents I'm thinking yeah I'm thinking this one is my favorite from this book yeah I don't know how much I've colored in this book have I colored anything it's looking rather empty oh I can see something there oh that's right this one's a color along on the channel this one was polychromos and distress inks that was a early um attempt at distressing so that's fairy touch of magic um and let's have a look at 
what next let's have a look at masha's christmas next this one we did a page in last christmas which is this little christmas card um here yeah, i love this page and that's the first time i colored in this book i've been dying to color that page for so long um this paper is so thick i love this book it's one-sided and the paper's just it's like a really thick card stock um so there's some fun pictures in here i love this one the stamp paper is so thick i keep feeling like i picked up two i'm just gonna try and keep my finger in that spot the pages are quite simple and quick this little mandala That's the cover image there. I think the stamp is my favourite. Some baubles. The teddy bear is a bit cute. Another ornament. Mm. That's not bad. Some of them are just patterny. That one I like too. Christmas tree. And that's it. That's the one that's calling to me. So if I was going to do this book, that would be the page I would do. So that is Masha's Christmas by Masha Vandenberg. Um, if you have a look on my Facebook page, not in the Facebook group, but on my Facebook page, if you're interested in purchasing this book, I think oh, you'd have to scroll back. Or you can actually search by the title of the book because um, there is a post related to that colour along. And I think I mentioned in there where you can purchase the book. Actually, it's probably in the details of the colour along video um, if you're interested in purchasing it. Or you can have a look at um, Masha's, um, her Facebook page. So let's have a look at um, Country Christmas by Teresa Goodridge. I love all of her images. I've only coloured one page in this book as well. They're so detailed, but they look so beautiful when they're finished. single-sided so we can use markers that might be a fun one that's pretty cute a little puppy with a present and gingerbread that one could be a fun one look at the little puppy sleeping on the stairs I think it's really calling it out to me so far. I'm just trying to make sure I've got it in frame. That's a possibility, maybe. That one, even. That'll look fun with a. Um, a colored door not just a wood effect like a nice bright color door or maybe like a sort of blue gray color or a bright red that's the page I colored that was all Prismacolor pencils that's not a color along either I don't think um that one's a possibility too nothing's really screaming out to me this one's a possibility hmm let me know what you think about that book. Nothing really called out to me so much. 
Um, what to look at next? Let's have a look at RJ Hampson's Christmas Tiny Homes. Now, I had a look at this. I wonder I last look through this because I have got some pages marked, but I may have changed my mind since then. Do I need to zoom you out? One sec, I'll zoom you out a little bit. Okay, hopefully you can see that better. So, even the book belongs to page will be fun. Okay, I do like that page. And I like that page. I really like this page. This one I've previously marked as a maybe to colour. And I really do like it actually. So I would still agree that um, it's one I'm interested in colouring in. Mm, not the black backgrounds. Yeah, I've got this one marked, but you know what? Nope. It's a nope. Hmm. That's very Aussie feel. Uh, no. That one's a nice page too. Nope. I've got this one marked. Previously, I've considered this page. I probably still think yes. That's a possibility. I think I prefer the other one that I had marked, wherever that was. Um, no. And no. Uh, mm, no. <laughs> no. Look at that. Look at this seal. Uh, maybe. This could be fun. I mean, Christmas in Australia is hot, but it, it is winter at the moment, so I have been picking more cooler pages. But I know it is summer for most of you. Um, so, summer Santa, perhaps. Desert Santa. That's a nope. But... Is it three cranky camels? Three cranky camels. They are cranky, actually. Oh, struggling to turn these pages. There we go. Mm, I'm not interested in black backgrounds at the moment. Oh, that is the colour and build Christmas village. Did anyone ever do that? I thought it was, sounded like like a lot of fun at the time, but I probably will never do that. I don't think, um, I don't know. Might be fun to build. I don't know if I, have the amount of time it take to colour, I don't know. Um, yeah, let me know if there's anything you want to see out of RJ Hampson's Christmas Tiny Homes. Now, I've got one last one to show you. So that Christmas Tiny, tiny Homes is uncolored so far. So it would be nice to get something colored in it. But, um, I mean, there are a couple of pages that, that do call my name. Actually, so a lot of these pages, I love lots of, a lot of these books, I love a lot of the pages. It's just the time. And I look at it and I'm like, oh, I'm never going to have time to color that and everything else when I color in the month. Um, so sometimes I have to look at more simpler pages in some of the books um and think about the detailed ones a bit later on but yeah so last book here is a whimsy girl's christmas from hannah lynn now this book is uncolored for me too this is the only hannah lynn book i actually own i'm not a huge fan of coloring her work i love seeing her work colored by other people but i don't enjoy coloring it so much myself I say that having never coloured anything from Hanolin before, but just looking at the images, they don't feel like they're my style of colouring pages, but I do love the finished look. So 
this page was sent to me by Hannah. Um, this book was sent to me by Hannah and I've never coloured in it. So, um, we'll see if anything calls out to me. I have got something marked by the looks of things. I think it's the thick black lines that are putting... Hang on. Is that the same page? Am I missing something? Was that... Oh, we've got two... Are there two copies of everything? Are they exactly the same? What am I seeing right now? Bonus, two of each page. Okay, right. So they must be the exact same. I guess if you stuff one up. Whoops. Then you can colour another one. So I've got this one marked. That's it. I don't mind it. I don't know what it is that's, that isn't calling to me. I don't know if it's the thick black lines or the big open spaces. But I'm either going to have to colour something in it and see if I like it or move this book on. Christmas Mermaid. Yeah. Oops, I think I skipped something back there. Hmm. Nothing is calling out to me so far. I feel like I need to at least attempt a page before I say, I don't like coloring in the artist's work. Um, I don't know, guys. Is anyone interested in seeing the Hanalin colour along? I'm thinking maybe I need to de-stash this book. That I might colour. You know, when I when I look at books, I like to have a look and see if I would colour at least I'd say well at least 50% of the book then it's worth purchasing at least 50% of the book preferably more but if it's less than 50% of the book you'd like to colour then I'd say don't purchase the book in my opinion it looks like a little my little pony it's a bit cute. That page looks alright. I could colour that page, I think. It's a maybe. That one. That one maybe as well. There's there's some that I could that I could happily colour. But I wouldn't say I'm excited to colour this book. I don't know. I don't know about this one, guys. I'm thinking a D stash might be in order. I might, yeah, that's a maybe. Oh. Way that one's different. Oh, they're created by decorating your own special Christmas sweater. I wonder why that one she made different. I like that without the details, actually. Is that the only thing different? Yeah, I prefer the page without the details on the sweater, I think. Oh, skipped it, but it's just a double page. That's it. So I'm not so sure about that one, guys. Um, so there was a lot of books there. Um, let me know down below if there's any in particular that stood out to you that you would like as a colour along. Because what I'll do is I'll go through all the comments um, and I will write down how many people want which pages. 
um and I'll probably look at working on those ones first but um like I said the Rita Bourbon's book is first on my list this month and then Kirby's Alien Worlds will be second um and then I'll have a think out of the pages we've chosen today for what is next so let me know in the comment section down below what you'd like to see on the channel and I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for listening to me ramble today and uh take care I hope you all have a wonderful day bye for now